and they're off. Finally away. Uh, Karuma great. Oh, and Go Dante was very reluctant to, to go with them, the favourite Go Dante, and has forfeited many lengths. Oh, it'll be a hard race to win from there. Dylan Johnston just couldn't get the horse to break into a gallop and trails the field badly. And it's your honour that leads from Sky Cutter with Densworth close up there. It's Go Dante right out the back in the pink jacket as they swing into the home straight. Your Honour, Densworth, Skycutter, Blue and the Orange Spots, Party Vibes just in behind them. In yellow, also in yellow and grey and blue on the inside is Jungle Jack. Lively Citizen is handy. In red sleeves, away to the left is Bally with Eagle's Rain in white and red. And then behind those Maiden Street prints and further back, Luttrell Lad rewired to the inside with L. Jeff. Further back then to Ted Hastings, Z-Band, Alphadil, Affadil, I should say, on the outside in the blue and white jacket as they jump the next from Peacock. Go Dante has made up the ground. Uh, Karuma Gray has just about last now as Go Dante made up that ground, but at what cost as they race in front of the stands with a circuit to go. Sky Cutter on the outside of Your Honour, one and two, followed by Densworth and Bally. Then Lively Citizen and Party Vibes and Eagles Rain and Bruccio in the double green on the inside of Maiden Street Prince. Avadil is next. Then Luttrell Lad and Jungle Jack, followed by Rewired and Ted Hastings and Z-Band. Picar is restrained. Then uh, Go Dante is part a couple now, L. Jeff and uh, Karuma Gray about to run into the back straight and a well group field and Sky Cutter probably just taking them along now under Tristan Durrell from Your Honour who's nudged along and then Bally and uh, Bruccio is handy as well as they come towards the next and Densworth right there with the leaders, Lively Citizen Party Vibes and then Jungle Jack and Eagles Rain and Luttrell Lad and Maiden Sprint Prince, Maiden Street Prince and then Affordale on the outside Rewire back on the inside then from Picar and then Ted Hastings and Go Dante and Z-Band and struggling L. Jeff and Karuma Gray as they cleared the next flight of hurdles and uh, getting more and more detached in fact, Karuma Gray and L. Jeff at this stage. Heading on now to the final flight in the back straight. Four out. Under pressure is Your Honour. And it's Bally and Skycutter and Densworth on the inside in the dark green jacket. Bruccio and Lively Citizen are tracking these leaders. Affordil getting closer. Blue and white on the outside. Then uh, back on the inside party vibes from Maiden Street Prince. Just losing a bit of ground on the bend there was Eagle's Rain. Didn't handle it at all well. Luttrell Lad on the inside. Go Dante is still trying to make up ground, having completely blown the start. As they run down the side of the course, Ted Hastings is under pressure. So too Jungle Jack. Your Honour has dropped right away. El Jeff is tailed off and so too is Karuma Gray turning for home and it's Bally that leads the way in the red sleeves from Sky Cutter Lively Citizen, Bruccio Affordil coming there on the outside with Z-Band, Densworth now ridden on the inside from Maiden Street Prince Go Dante improving now into about 8th or ninth place, that pink jacket just nudged along as they run down towards the third last and Lively Citizen is the latest challenger for the lead Lively Citizen there from Bally and Sky Cutter and Affordil and then Z-Band and they're chased by Luttrell Lead and a Noseband just to the far side of Bruccio. Over the second last, Lively Citizen landed just ahead. Uh, down back in the field was Picar, and Bally is running on well far side. Bally on the right, on the centre, in the centre, Lively Citizen, and on the left is Affordil. Affordil coming through strongly now in the hands of Freddie Gingell as they jump now the final flight. Affordil and Lively Citizen, Bally and Go Dante running a remarkable race into about four far side uh, with El Jeff from the back of the field as well, who was right out of it in the early stages and race out towards the line, an open race Affordil on the near side of Lively Citizen, L. Jeff from the clouds far side and Bally and then Go Dante and L. Jeff comes through to win in the end came from a mile off the pace from Bally, then Go Dante who ran remarkably well considering Affordil on the outside of Lively Citizen with Rewired Luttrell Lad and Party Vibes next El Jefe has bossed the finale here. And a bit of a turn up as well for Andrew Hamilton and Ben Smith. Wonderful run from Ballet in second. It's very tight for third. I think affordale has got that and it's very close for fourth. El Jefe, 40 to 1, <laughs> has won the last race here.
Go Dante has run a remarkable race, having completely blown the start. We'll have a look at that in a moment. But 40 to 1, that is a, a massive blow for the small yard of Andrew Hamilton, based in Carl Luke Mark. He's gone off 40 to 1, but he would have been a lot bigger than 40 <laughs> to 1 towards the end of the back straight. I think he was nearly tailed off. He's had a remarkable season. He'd already gone up £32. That's his fifth win of the campaign. And bottom weights ended up beating top weights. And you can't say that the pace has collapsed because the fiery valet has been right on the sharp end all the way and he's galloped on will uh, willingly. He's going to be a really nice two months later. Go Dante has run one of the more remarkable races I've seen in a pretty good handicap burn for a long while because he must have lost. Mm. I'm, I'm tipping 25 lengths minimum yeah, at the start. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And we're talking about Ollie Murphy's not had a lot of luck in this race and that's just continued. Here's the start. Pink colours in the middle. Just takes a nod, the cheek pieces. And he stands stock still. Yeah. He stands stock still. Yeah. 20 minimum he's lost, hasn't he? Yeah. And, yeah. and he's only been beaten four or five. You'd so have forgiven Dylan Johnson for just calling it a day, wouldn't you? Nick, I think quite a few senior jockeys would have called it a day and said well let's try and get this horse declared a non-runner etc because we can't possibly win from that position he hasn't but he's done enough to suggest that with a with a clean break he must have gone extremely close he'd have won wouldn't he you have to think so as regards the the winner mark's right he was well behind and apparently not going anywhere down the far side but you can pick him up now <laughs> yeah. on the inside and he's yeah. he's really jumped into the bridle all of a sudden yeah he's come back on the bridle run down to the final hurdle now affidil's had every chance he's extreme left Lively citizens run well. He's with the red sleeves towards the stand side as well. Ballet, we've mentioned, he had top weight, 12 stone minus his jockey's seven pound. He's still a promising young horse on his fifth run over hurdles. H how many horses trade? 109 what a win races at the Aintree <laughs> Festival. <laughs> Different times. Owned, owned and trained <laughs> by Andrew Hamilton. Yeah. Well done to him. A, a major, major day. And, and he hasn't been plotted up in any way. He's been no. aggressively campaigned at, at a working man's level. And, and he's come here better than ever. An unusual race tactically, but you cannot say that he's fluked it because Ballet has, <laughs> has been right on the speed from a long way out. Affidil was given, I think, a pretty polished ride. He stalked yeah. his way in contention, had every chance again, and Lively Citizen likewise. Yeah, it's, it's, he's come through the ranks, the, the winner, hasn't he? Four, four of his previous wins have been around Sedgefield. One off 84 back in November. Here he is winning at the Grand National Meeting. Fifth career success for Ben Smith. And by far, by far his biggest success. El Jefe must have, uh, must have felt like he was running loose. He's uh, 18, Ben, uh, son of Mike Smith. Yes. And for Andrew Hamilton, I, this is a, a, an enormous day. It is. It's a real... Well, it's it, it's a landmark day for them because stables like that would only get it a chance of a run in a race to like this in, yeah. infrequently. <laughs> Just being asked how far did Godante lose at the start? 20 minimum, probably more like 25. Well, El Hefe, Hefe wins his sixth career start. His previous four victories have come at Sedgefield. And now <laughs> here he is at Aintree off a mark of 109. You can still do it! They've given us all hope and in the last race. Look at that. That's brilliant. And that is absolutely brilliant. It shows you it's National Day tomorrow and miracles can happen. Strange things can happen. A course can look lost down the far side, but at the <laughs> running, it can look very different indeed. That is fabulous. El Jefe has won the last. If you back this horse, give yourself a massive pat on the back. <laughs> Yeah, and if you back this horse in the run when he touched a 1,000 and got the 16 quid on, give yourself an even bigger pat on the back. The Sedgefield Pro wins at Aintree. El Jefe wins the last 40 to 1, touched a high of a 1,000 in the run, and he's won. Bali, 22 to 1, was second. Affordale, 9 to 1, finished in third. Lively Citizen, 33 to 1, was fourth. 